Hey guys, welcome to Racing Academy and in this video we're going to discuss about the ultimate guide to QA team response roles and responsibility and today we're going to discuss about what exactly are the roles and responsibility of an automation tester. All right, so let's jump into it. We're going to target lots of questions related to what is expected from you, what you can do extra. I'm going to share my personal tips, what will be your daily task, right? And unofficial OKRs, this is one of the secret thing. Uh, resources for your automation testing right and when you when should a test case will be automated right so we're going to answer that question in this video all right so let's jump into it and let's see what we are doing all right so guys uh, before starting out uh, before starting out i would like to tell you that if you are uh, if you want to know the roles and responsibility of a manual tester this is already covered in the previous video so make sure you check out in the playlist or video section of the testing academy right and if you are someone who want to become a better QA, make sure you do the 30 days of uh, challenges, which are basically automation testing, Selenium with framework, API testing with Postman, rest is showed and Karate API, right? So this is your link, which is basically API testing dot live slash 30 days. Make sure you bookmark it. All right. So let's jump into it. the roles and responsibility of a automation tester. All right. So let me make myself a little smaller, right? So what is expected from you as an automation tester, right? So I think uh, this is one of the important points, which are basically you have to be informative. Informative basically means you have to become a, a subject matter expert of the product that you are automating, right? You have you have to add value by asking right questions. What uh, needs to be automated? What need to, you don't need to automate, right? This is what expected from you. You have to be trust, trustworthy. Whatever the test case that you are creating, they add value. They help to boost the confidence in your regression suite. That has to be done the repeatable repeatable basically means that automation whatever that you are automation doing it can be re repeatable or reusable you are using reusable you are following patterns right this is actually very expected things right so uh eventually what you will be doing is you will be just automating the scenario from the backlog so if you are someone who is basically following the agile methodologies in your uh, company most of the people are doing right now you have a backlog items that you want to automate right so you will be automating these things you will be maintaining your test cases uh, if they are failed or flaky uh, you will be helping in estimations or automation test cases you will be attending scrum updating your team what you are doing uh, you can be gathering the information about the requirements scenarios and automation for that to automate it you will be getting the clarity what to automate and what not to automate right and this is one of the important link and I will highly recommend you to read this article about what exactly you will be doing and what is expecting from you as a automation tester, right? Let's do something important, which is how, what you can do extra. And these are my personal tips. So pay attention. All right. So I think uh, what you can do extra is that you can basically learn about this article, which is best practices of automation. And trust me, it will help you a lot. Let me show you what is this article. Let's open it quickly. Right, and uh, it is by smartbeer.com, and they have written some amazing thing about the test automation best practices. Make sure you pay attention and learn about it. Right, all right. So let's quickly jump to it. ROI. This is uh, that you can extra. I have seen people missing this thing, which is return on investment in your automation testing. I have given two links. Uh, the first one is basically will help you to learn about how to calculate the ROI and that you can show to your manager that I have calculated my ROI of our automation framework that we are doing and it will help you to gain more thing, right? So, so this is one of the thing that you can, you can read about this article there. Uh, it will give you a higher information about how to calculate your test cases, right? So they have certain parameter that you can handling uh, flaky test and script for other people, manual stuff. This exactly uh, I mean to that, I mean to say that this one, especially uh, let me bold it. Uh, so let me tell you this scenario or uh, not scenario. It's just my real life story. So when I was uh, getting into the automation testing, right? So the, I have seen, I have identified one of the thing that some people are uh, doing some manual stuff, right? And I thought, okay, these things can be done with the Python script and trust me, uh, they're take, uh, they are doing the same stuff for nine to five, like, like it's taking them for one day. Uh, there was some of these thing related to T Excel, for example, reading from database, putting them into Excel and after that verifying in, putting them back to the database. So what I have done, I have created certain Python scripts and that task we were doing for less than 15 to 20 minutes after that. So we were using those scripts. 
so that you can do extra right i have added value in that case right so that's how my manager was very excited and very happy basically i have solved this problem right so that you can do extra as the automation tester and people not uh, trust me do these things and it will help you so identify the problem in your current system propose don't propose just automate it and show them the results this is one of the thing that you can do documentation trust me so example uh, for this is one of the example that i'm showing you like for example says regression just tell them these are the documentation these are the parallel execution uh, these are document that uh, you can try to create uh, as a automation tester right you can show them the results show them the what you have automated what this is the regression suit how much time it is taking what is the maintenance code show them numbers so that you can earn some extra respect right so what will be your daily task as a automation tester uh, it will be basically grooming your backlog fixing the failed test cases helping other sdets and manual testers pr reviews code reviews attending scrums right uh, sometimes helping head for the manuals pm testers and designers right so this is your this is one of the expected thing as a roles and responsibility for automation tester all right unofficial okrs this is one of the important thing so generally okr unofficial okrs basically means your what is expected from you in a three major categories which is creativity follow the best best practices as well as new tools and if you are well versed with the new tools or not this is your creativity your knowledge it basically means you are you a decent manual tester because if you want to become an automation tester you have to be decent in manual testing first right uh, you are a subject matter expert of that project or not so so that's your knowledge right the so third one is problem solving it basically means identify the problem solve it by python script or excel scripts right this is the thing that i have already discussed with you so make sure you pay attention so uh, what are the different resources i would like to give you this mind map uh, this is in description make sure to, uh, you download it and these are some of the list that i have found uh, which is basically uh, i believe it's a awesome test automation related thing so you can check out the different if you are someone who is learning automation in javascript java ruby python check out the awesome resources about this okay so uh, again the last question is basically which test case i have to automate it basically means any kind of a repetitive test case uh, if you if uh, automation saving your time then automate it stable if the your functionality that you are uh, product that you are basically automating are stable and unlikely unlikely to change just automate it and test uh, basically it basically help you to subject uh, generally uh, whenever you are doing testing it's basically subject to an human error so you can basically automate it all right so there these are the things uh, for the roles and responsibility for a automation tester so pay attention to unofficial okrs what is your daily task as well as what you can do extra i hope that is helpful uh, to you and i hope you are, now you have a clarity about your qa response roles and responsibility as an automation tester right so in the next video we're going to target the qa lead all right and if you are if you want to know about the roles and responsibility for manual tester make sure you check out the previous video thanks a lot for watching this is your host pramod and you are watching testing academy make sure you, if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe the video, uh, subscribe the channel do give a like and if you are someone with if you disagree or agree with the comment let me know in the comment i will be happy to help thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye